Leo Cannon here from Fiction Atlas Press, bringing you another Indie Connection. And today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. Since it is November, we are going to be doing our annual NaNoWriMo episode. So today I'll be telling you guys about some indie books that started out as NaNoWriMo projects and that have been successfully self-published. So here we go. The first book I have for you is called Death of a Fairy Tale by Emily Fluke. She's a skeptic, but the birth of her baby sparks storybook murders. Can she find the truth before dark fairy tales determine her daughter's fate? Mary can solve any mystery, except who wants to murder her and why they're leading her to Grandma's house. Death of a Fairy Tale is a supernatural mystery chock full of classic stories, murder, and sarcasm. Mary is a determined, if not a little frazzled, investigative journalist and a brand new mother. The birth of her daughter sparks strange events that lead into the hidden world of fairy tales. Mary struggles to balance her baby in one hand and her job in the other while she hunts her supernatural stalker and uncovers the truth behind beloved children's stories. The next book I have for you is called Golden Opportunity by V. L. Cook. Can she go from broken midlife wreck to a badass midlife warrior? Beginning a new career at 44 was difficult, but as Siobhan is about to find out, things can be worse. After her marriage implodes and she moves back to her childhood home, Siobhan learns that everything she thought she knew about her family was a lie, and the creatures of myth and legend are real living hidden creatures who request help. As a custodian for the Golden Assembly, Siobhan helps supernatural creatures and works alongside a nearly 1,000-year-old dragon, Donal. When a mission goes wrong, Siobhan discovers someone or something is hunting those she's supposed to assist. As the serial killer's body count increases, they play Siobhan and her friends firmly in their sights. Will Siobhan be able to stop the murderer before he completes his self-assigned mission of ridding the world of supernatural beings? Will Siobhan do it while searching for the perfect pair of jeans to fit her size 16 body? Or will her addiction to chocolate, supernatural, and self-doubt destroy this badass midlife warrior before she truly gets started? Or will she remain a broken midlife wreck? And the last book I have for you is called I Salvation, When Prey Becomes Predator by Stephen Moore. They took her freedom and her liberty. They should have taken her life. Alex Ridley knows there are only three certainties in life, taxes, death, and that if you kidnap and hurt girls and young women, she will hunt you down and she will end you. Alex Ridley has changed. She was once a respected art historian, a pacifist, flawed, yes, troubled, certainly. Now she's driven to do whatever it takes to bring down the traffickers, including acts of extreme violence. She'll track them to their dens, She'll play them at their own heinous game. She'll turn justice into a masterpiece. From India to Tibet and then Milan, Ridley's fierce determination to administer justice and liberate the victims, women and girls just like her, thrusts her into the chaos of Marrakesh. She thought she'd seen the very worst of humanity. The Red City opens her eyes to new levels of depravity. Ridley must survive. Hundreds, thousands will suffer if she doesn't. Yet up against the most dangerous enemy she's ever faced, the odds are stacked against her. She hates them. To defeat them, she must become them. Okay, that's all for me this week. I'll see you next week on the Indie Connection. Bye!